What's up guys, John Paul here and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'll be adding fire allagers inside Minecraft. So basically they are just ice allagers but they have fire. Before that, only few of my subscribers watch my videos. So be sure to hit that like button, click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to all. And then check out my channel for more videos and data packs. So I recently made an isolager video a few weeks ago and many people liked it so I guess I'm gonna make a fire one. So I'm gonna ask you if you agree with this. So we already had a few elements like ice, so in this video we have fire. So do you want me to make earth and air so that all of the elements will be in isolager powers like wizards? So if you see a red arrow on your screen, be sure to click that so you can vote for the next ones so be sure to watch the whole video and don't skip because if this video hits 400 likes you're gonna be so happy when you can use this data pack so let's start off by typing slash reload we can see here that there's our the best isolager data pack and the best fireologer data pack so you could obviously say that there are two data packs in this world so without further ado let's start to find our fireologer so starting off you might want to type slash locate and then you're gonna go to desert pyramid because the fire allager has a high percentage of spawning in the desert so we're gonna click this to teleport and it's now teleporting us here so we, we're gonna find one so the fire allager is like the ice allager they're pretty rare to find in the game so i'm just gonna keep on searching i'm gonna do fast forward so it turns out that i didn't saw any fire allager because it's pretty rare so I'm gonna remind you, if you're gonna use this, you might gonna need two resource packs. So make sure that the fire allager resource pack is at the top of the ice allager. So click done, and then you have your resource pack now. So since that this mob is just an addition to your game and it has a small percentage of spawning, you might wanna use a spawn egg. So you might wanna need an evoker spawn egg. So if you're gonna throw the evoker spawn egg into the ice, it's gonna give you an ice allager spawn egg. So, like in the previous video, I did this. So, we're gonna need a fire charge now. So, if you're gonna throw an evoker egg with a fire charge, you're gonna get a fire alder spawn egg. So, you can just simply use the spawn eggs to right click on the ground. And yeah, look at that. We now have a nice alder. And it also has a cape. Now we have the fire alder. It also has a cape too. And I made a better texture on the fire alder. So here they are, fire and ice. Just tell me if you want more. And also, this doesn't attack villagers, it only attacks players because I just made them attack players. So I just summon a nice soldier and as you can see, oh, as you can see, a random fire soldier just spawned out of nowhere. So I don't know how this happened. So let's try to kill a nice soldier. Because if you haven't watched the Isolager video, you might want to watch it. So basically, the Isolager has many spells and powers. So one of the spells is like this ice wall thingy. But the Isolager's powers and spells aren't that strong as fire. Might really want to watch the fire version of the Isolager. So my technique when killing the Isolager was just like keeping away a few distance on him. And I'm just gonna rush on him if he, he has no spells. So once he dies, you're gonna get an ice wand. So basically, I, I said this in the in the previous video, so if you're gonna right click, it can freeze anyone. So I kept on looking and I still didn't find any fire alger. So basically, the fire alger has 4 spells. First spell is summoning blazes. So he can summon a blaze whenever he wants. So the second spell is pretty similar to the ice alger when he throws ice blocks in a circular motion, like this. And the third spell is like a fire cast, like it would burn players nearby. So once you're attacking him like this, he's gonna burn you like that. A large area would be burned. And the last spell we have is the fire ground. And so basically, if you go near the fire area, you're gonna get burned. Like this. As you can see, there's fire here. If I go near him, I'm, I'm burning. So let's get the fireology spawn egg and go to survival as you can see he's already killing me with his spells so i might want to need a few water buckets i need water buckets because we're gonna get a lot of burns like that so you're just gonna keep yourself away let's kill these blazes out here this guy is pretty hard to kill you can't even bow him because arrows will al always burn 
Just like this, I'm throwing arrows at him, and he's deflecting all of the arrows and burning them. And I died. As you can see, he burns a pretty big amount of area, and I died. So you just gotta be careful, you might burn your house. And also, the ice one doesn't affect the virologer. What happens if I kill him? So if I kill him, you're gonna get... Oh wait, I just burned the loot. So basically he has our loot, so let's summon him again. Again. You can see like that. He looks pretty cool with the fire particles on. So once you kill him, he's gonna drop a fire one. So basically this fire one is similar to the freezing one. So if you right if you right click on the villagers, you can see that they freeze. But if you right click using the fire one, they will get burned. So this is I didn't make this pretty OP because that would be so bad. So I just I just thought of right clicking it and burning players or mobs nearby. Just like that llama over there. Ooh, what a cute cat. Oh I oh no, I just burned a cat. Oh no. Oh he's alive. Let's let's make him cold so that he's not gonna get burned. So like that. Just right click and watch for your aim. Like that. So you already know how cool that looks like, right? So if we go to midnight, he's gonna have glowing eyes and glowing skins. So this is a new addition that I added and I didn't add this in the Isolager one. So you can just basically use the wands and combine them. So if, if you want more, please tell me in the comment section below. So if you want to see more of these elemental villagers, be sure to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next video and subscribe.